All right, let us discuss how fuel is fed into the engine of this Lycoming 540. You can see right here, E4C5 model. So uh, just a few components that uh, I'm gonna mention. We have the air filter, air intake air filter. We have the carburetor. We have, on the carburetor, we have uh, the throttle calibration. Right here we have the mixture calibration. Right here we have the fuel pressure sensor and transducers at the front, this wire. And uh, fuel in to the carburetor. At the bottom side we have uh, for carb heat. And uh, this is the duct that take heated air from the exhaust into the carburetor, carb heat. By the way, this right here is um, alternate air. So uh, let's start from the front. Air enters the filter. It is passed through this air box to the carburetor. And then from the carburetor, fuel is metered using the mixture calibration. I'll go inside the cockpit. And I will move the left mixture. And you will see how this actually moves. All right, and then the throttle is right next to it. That opens the valve inside that lets more air enter the engine. So when you open the throttle, air is sucked in. And of course, if you have the mixture full rich, fuel is being metered into the carburetor, after which it goes up inside of the engine and then is um, distributed to all of the six cylinders. Here we have the engine driven fuel pump. Right here. We have, if we follow the lines, we'll be able to tell where the fuel comes from. So, let me go on the other side. So fuel, comes from the, the fuel strainer, which is inside here. Comes through, passes through here, all the way down into the fuel, uh, the engine driven fuel pump, after which it passes and then goes right back down into the carburetor. And that's how the carburetor gets fuel. There is also a breather or a vent for the fuel pump where excess pressure is blown off. Just so that the, the, the pump can breathe as the name suggests.